Uh, this is the first section on uh, chapter six, which is trig functions. And this will introduce uh, three new trig uh, functions. And uh, once you know what these functions are, we can then derive some new identities uh, based on actually some of the old ones that you know from year 12. So the first thing is, is uh, when you did GCSE, and we said they're sine, cos, and tan, we lied to you because that is not all of the trig function. So let me just draw a right angle triangle here and let's call this hypotenuse adjacent opposite. So we already know that Soka Tower thing, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent, so it's Soka Tower. But what we haven't done is say, okay, right, well, what about hypotenuse over opposite? What's that? Well, what's hypotenuse over adjacent? What's that? And what's adjacent over opposite? Okay, we've never done them because we've never even needed them. But actually, they are defined. And the first one, the hypotenuse over the opposite, we call, um, cosecant that's his full name we normally shorten it and we just say cosec the second one um, um, that's secant let's try and keep the same colors secant and we just shorten that to we call it sec and um, tan this one is cotangent. I'll run out a bit of space here. So cotangent, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, and we shorten that, we just call it cot. And these are the reciprocals basically of sine, cos, and tan, and it's in the box over here. At the side you can see it okay so um, uh, cosec sec and cot are the reciprocal functions I have to check the spelling of reciprocal um, of sine, cos, and tan. Now our calculator doesn't have a sec button, so you're not gonna find a calculator that has this on it, and it says sec, or cosec, or cot. So you're not gonna find those buttons. So if you want to work out what those functions are, then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to work out what the um, reciprocals are and just do one over that. So uh, use the sine, cos, or tan buttons to work these out. Then find the reciprocal and I think there's a is a button you can use it says one over X or it might say X to the minus one so you can just press that button and it will give you the solution so let's try some so uh, first one sec to 80 part a so what I ha actually have to do is to work out one over and reciprocal of sec is cos, cos to 80. So this tells me I'm doing degrees and for part B, if I'm gonna do that, I need to do one over tan 115. Okay, so let's work those out and see what we get. So I can either work it out first and do cos 280 And then 
do the reciprocal of that press the x to the minus one button and i get something like minus 1.08 i'll try it the other way as well one over cos qat yeah so three significant figures will go from minus 1.08 it's um, three significant figures and the tan 115 so again you can do tan 115 press equals press the button it's underneath the x squared button is a button that says x to the minus one that give you the reciprocal and three significant figures is negative 0 0.345 if i round that i'll just check it the other way one over tan 115 okay yep yeah. Right, work out the exact values. Okay, so um, we can use our calculators for these. You may know what the exact values are. Um, but we know this is gonna be one over cos two ten. One over cos two ten. We might use a cast diagram for this. And then part B is gonna be one over sine 3 pi over 4. Now, whenever you see pi in something, it's telling you it's radians. Yeah, I've not seen a question where you're dealing with degrees and you see pi, so you know it's radians. Okay, so let's use a cast diagram uh, to get these exact values. Right, so the first one is to 10. Actually, I'll make this a bit smaller because I want to get both questions in. So, um, this will be for A. I'll just do A here. I'm going to do B here in a moment. You can do these on your calculator, but for fun, let's do it on a cast diagram. So, 210 degrees is going to be 180, 210, like that. So, if that's 180, um, and it's 210. This angle here is going to be 30 degrees. And all the gaps between the axis and the angles are going to be 30. C, A, S, T. Um, we're working out um, the reciprocal of cos. The sine will be the same. So even with um, these reciprocal functions, the signs are the same. So all still applies to all. Uh, this sign would also be the same as cosec. Tan would be the same as cot. And um, of course would be the same as sec. But then you'd have a S-A-C-T diagram. Sacked, not as nice sounding as cast. Okay, so I've landed over here for 210 degrees, so it's going to be negative. And negative what? Well, I, I really need to know what um, 30 degrees is, um, the exact value of cos 30, and that's one of the ones that you. Uh, might remember um, I think it's a half I'm just going to double check no it's root 3 over 2 so it's 1 over negative root 3 over 2 which then will become negative 2 over root 3 yeah I'm just going to double check that on the calculator so I will do, press the fraction button, 1 over cos 210. And uh, yeah, negative, it says 2 root 3 over 3. But they've, uh, um, they've just rationalized the denominator. I say they, the calculator has rationalized the denominator. Okay, right, so have a look at the next one over here, which is sine um, or cosec. 3 pi over 4. So 
C A S T. Now the angle is three pi over three quarters pi in a way. So we'd have naught here, we'd have pi over two, we'd have pi three pi over two. So three quarter pi is going to be more than a half. It's going to be exactly halfway between these two, isn't it? That's going to be a quarter pi, pi over four. Like that. So that's going to be pi over four there. So um, we landed in the bit of the cast diagram where uh, sine is positive. That means cosec will be positive. So this is going to be a positive answer. And we'd need to know the exact value of sine pi over four, which is like uh, sine 45. And that's uh, uh, one over root two. So the reciprocal of that is just going to be uh, root two. So one over one over root two. So it just becomes root two. <coughs> and again, I've just checked up my calculator fraction button, one over sine uh, three pi over four, or three quarters pi. And yet we get root two. Um, but for that second bit of the question, we'd have to change our calculator into radians. So I'm just going to highlight the answers there for A and B is there. Okay. Right, nice easy section. So exercise 6a on page uh, 11.